Hey guys, Zach here, Small Town Bourbon. Today, I'm starting a new series I'm pretty excited about. I'm going to be putting 32 bourbons head to head against each other in a blind. All the bourbons are under $65. Uh, I want to do this just for fun. I thought y'all might enjoy it. But also, I get people asking me all the time, what's my favorite bourbon? And it's hard for me to answer because I, I like so many of them. There's been very few that I've tried that I just don't like at all. So I thought maybe I could do this and get, get closer to having an answer for somebody of what's my favorite bourbon. Um, I put a couple in here that are allocated, but nothing too crazy. And then I put some classics in there, you know, some Wild Turkey 101, Evan Williams Bottled and Bond. Um, I pretty much just made a list of all 32 and gave it to my wife and got her to blind them for me randomly. So this is going to be round one, match one. I'm going to call this one A, this one B, and I'll try to put in there on the bottom what, uh, which one I'm trying on the video. But here we go. I'm going to start over here with A. Mm. Good nose, very sweet, caramel. You get just a hint of a baking spice in there with it, but it's mostly caramel. I'm going to try it out. It's good. Um, You do get that sweetness with it. I almost get more of like a toffee flavor on, on my tongue there. I, um, it's got a good bit of spice on the back end. It doesn't stick with you real long. The flavor doesn't. But a really good flavor. Maybe a 90 proofer. I don't know. The flavor doesn't hang with you very long, but I really like it. I'm going to move over here to B. pretty nose too it seems a little lighter on the nose than a this one's very different though uh, it's uh, kind of florally like flowers maybe like a little citrus thing a little lemon in there with it try it out oh wow this one's going to be tough on the palate on the palate, this one's very sweet. Yeah, get like a brown sugar sweetness up front and then some spice in the back. I like both of them. I'm going to go back to A one more time. I'm glad my wife gives me big pours because I really go back and forth on these blinds a lot. <laughs>
this one's pretty close for me. Tonight, I'm going to go with B. For me, B, the flavor hangs with you a little longer. It's got a little more spice on the back, which I like. The, as far as how much flavor they had, they were pretty close to me. I just feel like B sticks around with you a little longer. But I enjoyed both of these. We'll go to the list and see who won tonight. Yeah, well, it might hurt some feelings, but it doesn't really surprise me. So the loser, A, is going to be Eagle Rare. And I've always felt this way about Eagle Rare. It's really good. I just feel like the flavor kind of leaves you kind of quick. It doesn't have big flavor, but it is a really easy, great drinker. Um, I always recommend Eagle Rare for somebody that maybe doesn't like bourbon a lot or is just getting into it. It's great for that. But Eagle Rare got beat out by a newer bottle I got, but it's quickly become one of my favorites. That's going to be the Ben Holiday six year coming out of Missouri. It's a really great bottle. Um, bottle in bond, 100 proof. It's got great flavors to it. I just really enjoy it. If you see one, I'd definitely recommend picking one up. But that's all I've got for you tonight, guys. Small Town Bourbon. See you on the next one.